welcome back everyone, Mike here. Another beautiful evening here in Pennsylvania. Although today it is pretty warm, but it's not real humid. It's a pretty nice evening. I'm out here working on the uh, mini cab. I'm gonna get ready to start framing. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch tonight uh, because one, I forgot to charge my batteries last night, but I am gonna kind of get started here. I think Melissa's gonna come out for a bit and then before it gets dark, uh, we're gonna head back over the house, split a little bit of firewood. I have a load of rounds in the dump trailer and I'm gonna be needing that trailer. So we're gonna get that taken care of. But tonight we're just gonna kind of talk, answer some questions that keep coming up in the comments, some different things, and we'll get a little work done as well. So this is my uh, top plate and bottom plate. I like to put a clamp on these when I'm laying them out because did you ever start laying these out and you realize one of them moved a little bit? So I'll just put a clamp or two on it so it doesn't happen. I'm gonna have four foot windows in here. They're four feet wide and only a foot tall. The ones that I find that should work pretty well, they're called deer view windows. They just have hinges, you know, they sit flush on the inside wall and they fit nice and snug. So there's two hinges up on the top and like even if you have gloves on or something, you can open them up and they hook. Should work really well for uh, this little mini cabin here. And also I wanna thank you guys. I asked about a little wood stove for in this cabin and several people mentioned, I think it's called the Cubic Mini Stove. I have it bookmarked on my computer. I'm gonna order one of those. But I tell you what, they're a cute little bugger. They're about, I don't know, this big. They weigh like 37 pounds. You can put pieces of wood in there, I think up to like six and three quarter inches long. Have a little three inch flue pipe. Should work really well. I mean, that ought to just cook you out of this cabin. I'm gonna insulate it and everything so that little mini stove will work real well. I think we're gonna order that later this week. Obviously, I don't need it here for a few weeks, but uh, it'll be good to get it here so I'll have it when I need it. Something else I want to mention. Oh, back to the uh, wood that I'm using. A lot of people are questioning why I'm using, you know, regular two by four lumber bought at a store since I have a sawmill and we have all these trees around here. Well, I think a lot of people just don't understand, you know, there's different types of wood in different areas. And there was a guy that commented today and I kind of felt bad because I was just being sarcastic and a bunch of guys piled on them and I, I just deleted the whole thing. But he was saying, you know, it's ridiculous. Oh, first he thought Woodmiser gave me that sawmill, which they didn't. I bought that sawmill and he didn't think they'd be happy that, you know, I was uh, buying lumber when I have a sawmill here. And he told me I should be using cedar. And like I said, I'm a little sarcastic, but I said, uh, that's a great idea, but I'd have to plant them, wait about 40 or 50 years, cut them down, you know, saw them up, dry them, because we don't have any cedar here. Uh, we have mostly all hardwoods and you know oak cherry maple that was one of the neat things about talking to people from all over the country and all over the world about all the different types of species of trees like these two by fours right here they came from idaho now guys in idaho they would die for the cherry that we have here on this property it's just the way it is right the grass is always greener somewhere else now I know years and years ago, people built with anything that they had here, uh, but something like this, you know, I want dry framing lumber that I can frame this thing up. It's not gonna move, it's not gonna twist. Plus the other thing, you know, if I had some nice red oak or white oak or something like that, it's worth a lot more to me and to somebody else if I were to sell it for furniture grade lumber, for cabinets or trim or something like that than to use for framing lumber. Two by fours are pretty cheap compared to what good hardwoods cost. So that's kind of the reason I'm buying all the framing lumber. And I'm actually gonna buy uh, hemlock for the outside of this thing, uh, shiplap hemlock siding. Uh, we have just a little bit of hemlock here, not a whole lot, a nice stand down by the pond and I really don't want to mess with it. Now somebody told me the other day though that uh, red pine, and we have a bunch of red pine over on the other hill by my mom's, they planted a lot of that stuff back in the 50s or 60s around here. I forget what, you know, that was some program they had or something, but the problem was everybody planted them too close together, half or three quarters of them die, but we do have some pockets of pretty decent red pine. And I talked to a guy at Buckingstock the other day and he was telling me that they do saw red pine if you got nice straight trees that aren't leaning, they're not stressed real bad, you could, uh, you could frame with them or maybe even siding, something like that. And I will try doing that with some red pine, maybe on some wood sheds or something like that. 
but on this little project here I don't want to experiment uh, for the first time. And the other thing as far as the hardwoods go, you know, once you sticker it and, and stack it real nice, you'll know later on if there's under stress or it's twisting or turning. I don't want to build this with green hardwoods, not at all. I want this to be nice, square, everything work out. I don't want big gaps and cracks and things like that. And I know how to use this lumber right here to frame with. Back like they did 200 years ago, framing with, you know, green lumber. Well, you see what happens, you know what I mean? The place looked beautiful, but there's big gaps and things like that. Things twist and dry and move when you use that kind of lumber. At least that's what I know. Uh, but anyway, that's it on the lumber, why I'm using store-bought lumber. And, uh, oh, and also don't forget, probably in the next week or two, we'll be sawing some nice, like, 16-quarter cherry for turning blanks. A lot of people have been asking uh, for that. A lot of guys all over the country can't get this cherry that we have here. And they keep saying, you know, don't burn it in the fireplace. Don't do this. Uh, you know, so we'll put it available. See if anybody wants it. It'll be real reasonable and it'll be good quality stuff. It'll be green, obviously, but we'll seal the ends and all that. We'll take pictures of it, put it on our website. And if guys want it and it works out, we'll keep doing that, you know, on an ongoing basis. But anyway, I think that's about it. Both my batteries are about dead. Melissa went back over to the house. I'm gonna head over there and split a little bit of wood. One thing that's nice, when you're out here in the woods, it gets dark a lot quicker, but over there by the log splitter, I'll get about another half hour daylight than I will right here. So we're gonna head out there, uh, get a little bit of Hunter's firewood split up, and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but uh, you know, our oldest son, Hunter, he has autism, he's a super hard worker, and uh, what we're thinking of doing is getting a big stockpile a very nice premium firewood. When, when I say that, I mean no bark, nice and clean, cherry, red oak, stuff like that. We'll get it all stacked up this year, and then next year, Hunter will start bagging that firewood. Uh, we find a supplier for bags, thanks to Moto Psycho, and uh, we'll do that, and Hunter will sell it locally, and who knows if we have a kiln, we may even sell it all over. I don't know, we'll see how it all goes. But uh, Hunter likes to work, he does, and uh, I think this will be a good thing for him. Anyway, I think that's about it. I'm going to head over to the house. We'll go split a little bit of wood, and uh, we'll go from there. Old Stanley made the trip. Yeah. Well, last night, I'm in bed um, finishing up some things on my phone, so I checked the hashtag Outdorgan. Oh, Stan came up here. How strong is this? <laughs> so... If you go to Instagram and just type in hashtag outdoorgans with an S, outdoorgans, and uh, everybody that's posting things that's, and using that hashtag will come up. You, it's so fun. And you can click follow on that hashtag. So it'll be in your feed. Right. So some lady, um, she said her husband, it said in the comments that her husband was at Buck and Stock. And it was just her and the dogs. And she's like, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? She's asking. And he heard that Stanley was asleep in the shower in our bathroom. And he he's like right beside my bed. I'm like, what? I'm like, that wasn't me. But he heard a lady on the video. Yeah. It's like 11 o'clock last night or something. It was really like. funny. Well, it was probably 1030, but. Yeah, because when yeah. Stanley sleeps, you'd think he's. Uh, oh my gosh. He's out. Yeah. You Evening time. The pulse. sun goes down and he's like. Uh, yeah. Get my slippers. And uh, yeah, I thought he's out for the night. That's I'm just doing funny. a little bit of work here. Okay. I got to charge uh, both my batteries. Okay. Uh, but I was thinking we could go over and split that, what's left of that wood in that trailer, because I'm going to need that little dump trailer. Oh, right, right. As soon as I finish this a little bit so up here. So look what dogs are up here Stanley and, and Piper. Piper up here. Where's Ruger? Ruger. Hey, Ru. Hey, Ru. Nope. 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 Really? Yeah. Ruger is not a fan of uh, steps. All right. So, can I help you? I'm good here right now, but uh, I'll be over in about 15 minutes, and I'll meet you down there. We'll split up that little bit of woods down there. Okay. Hunter's firewood. All those comments. Yeah. People had some fantastic ideas. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to have to put a poll up or something, pick the top five that we like and let people vote on it. Well, I was going to put them, write them out and uh, see if Hunter can help us select, narrow them down. Yeah. I wrote all of the comments out, but I 
Well, that's not true. Not all of them. Yesterday. All the did. ones yesterday and today. Yeah. I'm like. Ugh. I think there's 700 comments total. Probably. Really. 400 oh. of them or 500 of them are Here, names from Hunter. And some people were kind enough. They actually yeah. made logos. They emailed them to us. I checked it. I gotta really? get back to them tonight. Yeah, you'll. Oh, they're I really didn't nice. See that? That's so nice. Yeah. Wow. If you want, you can bring those two by fours up before you leave. Yeah. Just put them on the pile there. You can uh. You might have to get them down. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Sam. You're yawning mess. It's almost your bedtime. I know. I'm tired. Can you hear me my phone before you knock it off? Plus, I need it. I need to do some math. You're good at math. Yeah, I know. Piper, you don't have to come up and down every time your mom's up. But you don't get a splinter. Slide your hands on there. Okay. Oh, because you got one. I got a horrible one last night. Okay. We're heading back. I'll see ya. Oh, uh, wait. Maybe Stan's going to go with us. I thought he was going to wait for you. Alright. I'll take him. If he gets worn out, I'll pick him up on the way. <laughs> He'll be tied to a tree. Okay, bye. So I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this will be my top plate and bottom plate for one wall. I have them all laid out right now. And I'm going to have four foot windows on three walls. Uh, the windows are only about a foot tall.
So show them some of that stuff there. Yeah, nice. We're splitting it small. Uh, that's the way people like it in those bundles, I think. Yeah. That is beautiful. Premium. And we just have to figure out a name. Hunter was up there just a little bit ago looking down at us like, Supervising. You know, he's our boss and stuff, making sure everything's good. But I'm getting on to a little system here. At first, I was loading up the uh, log lift with a bunch of rounds, but they're kind of getting in the way. The easiest way to do it is just one at a time. It's obviously slower than the way we normally split, but the wood's worth probably four times as much this way right. as if we were to just split it all. I can do it during the day. Yeah, right. So we'll finish that up. That won't take long. Heck, it's just getting dark so early. Yeah. Well, what time is it right now? I don't even know. No. My phone's charging. <laughs> but it's not like it was, I know that. It's almost eight, I know that. Yeah, you have to take a little time off at work here to get caught up. I don't know. You know what are you gonna do come hunting season? I don't know, I've got plenty of vacation left. Well, not, never have enough, but. It's chirping. I don't know. But did you tell them about Paul Bunyan? I did. Yeah, first weekend of October. Is it a Friday? I wasn't sure about yeah, that. Yeah, Friday, so said, Saturday, I Sunday. I think it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so it'll be October 4th, 5th, and 6th. And it's near Canton? No, Cambridge. Or Cambridge? Cambridge, Ohio. Cambridge, Ohio. Look it up. It's, uh, you know, Paul You'll Bunyan have the, show. You can have the link in the description. Yeah, and we will be there at least Friday afternoon and all day Saturday. I, yeah. I don't think we'll be there Sunday, but we'll be there at least Friday afternoon and Sunday. Maybe all day Friday. We'll let you know when we get closer. Okay. Anything yeah. you want to add before we wrap this up? I don't even know if they can see us. It's getting so dark. I know. Uh, yeah. It was a beautiful day today. Sunny, high 86. Yeah, it was really warm. Um, yeah. So it was a good day. I'll take a few of these. Right. All right. If you like these videos, click the like button, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.